Here in the news business, we do our best to separate ourselves from the ads and commercials we run. But to prove a point, we checked on something tonight. There have been 33 ads for or against issue two here on THV 11 since midnight. Issue two involves revoking the Pope County casino license and would require local votes if we ever want to build any future casinos. New tonight at 10, Kayla Davis gives us an impartial take on some of the claims that are being said in all of those political ads. One claim the group Local Voters in Charge makes is that while four casinos have already been authorized in four different counties, only three of the counties actually voted yes. This comes from 2018 when Amendment 100 was approved statewide to authorize casinos in West Memphis to Southland Racing, one in Hot Springs, one in Jefferson County, and one in Pope County. But local voters in Pope County voted 61% against Amendment 100. Issue 2 ensures no county that votes against a casino license will receive one without voter approval. What they're doing there is just taking the results on the local level and saying, Hey, if you look at the local results, our county didn't vote to approve it, but that, I mean, it doesn't matter because it was a statewide ballot initiative. LVC also claims out-of-state gambling lobbyists are trying to force a casino in Pope County. The Arkansas Racing Commission awarded the Pope County license to Cherokee Nation Entertainment, or CNE, based in Salisaw, Oklahoma. But it's important to note Choctaw Casino in Pocola, Oklahoma, just outside of Fort Smith, has raised over $5 million in support of Issue 2. Both are, are out of state, although Cherokee Nation Entertainment has been in Pope County at least physically for several years. Moving on to investing in Arkansas ads. In them, Pope County Judge Ben Cross claims the county quorum court and local mayors support building a casino there. Hardin says the quorum court passed a resolution for support for Cherokee Nation Entertainment back in 2023. To apply to the Racing Commission to get that license, you have to have, uh, if it's in the county, which it is, this, this proposed location in Pope County is in the county, so you had to have either a letter from the county judge or uh, an ordinance of support from the quorum court. The ads also say the casino tax revenue will fund county needs like first responders, schools, and even roads. As required by Amendment 100, all casinos must pay 13% in taxes on all revenue up to $150 million within the first year. Ultimately, you've got money going to the state, um, live horse racing purses, and then the city and counties that are home to the casinos along with highways. Lastly, investing in Arkansas ads claim voting in favor of issue two will cost Arkansas thousands of jobs and millions in investment. Hardin says those jobs would come directly from CNE, hiring workers to build the casino and work it. The Cherokee Nation Entertainment has developed uh, an agreement with the, the county to provide $40 million or, and they've said, you know, once they build their facility, they'll provide that funding directly to the county.